What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is move or rename a file by path. So like my previous video where we showed move or rename a file, this one allows you to actually put in that sort of non-user non friendly path and automatically move it to that directory or rename it in that directory. So let's take a look at it today. So in my OneDrive for Business here, I have a trigger here which is when a file is created properties only. I click on new step and I'll search OneDrive for Business and then I'll scroll down to move or rename a file by path. When I choose this action I get two required parameters and one optional parameter. The required parameters are file path, destination file path and then overwrite. So file path, you'll notice that if I try and choose this one, I can't actually choose a file path in here. So if I choose something like this, it's not gonna let me choose that folder. Um, so I can't specify where this is triggering from. However, if I go into here and type file path, uh, file path, files path, um, I can find the list of files path. Uh, and that will go off and that'll get the whole file path, including the, the file that I want to rename as well. Next, I need a destination file path. So I can I can choose the file path from another piece of dynamic content if I want, or I can type into here, uh, power automate forward slash stop looping forward slash. So I know that where I'm going to create this file is in my power automate folder. And I'm going to move it from my Power Automate folder into my Stop Looping folder. So the Stop Looping folder is what we've written there. And then I can either give it a new name. So I could say, um, I want to call this, uh, I don't know, um, uh, Squeaky Mouse JPEG. So I could do that. And, and whatever file there is in is going to be renamed that. Or I could choose um, I could choose a piece of dynamic content and choose to not um, overwrite this. So I can choose list of files name. So if I choose that one, that's actually going to get the file name of the file that we're creating, and that's going to put it in there. Again, I can choose whether to overwrite this or not. So I'm going to choose yes for this instance. Um, that's basically going to say, are we going to overwrite the file in that destination file path? Um, because this is going to move that file. So we've got this, and let's test it out. So I'll click on test. Uh, I'll form a trigger action, we'll save and test, and that is running, so we'll switch over to my OneDrive for Business. So this is my Power Automate folder, and we will upload a new file, so we'll go here, and we'll choose a little battle mouse, hedgehog, uh, and we'll upload that, you can see it's uploading up here, uploaded, it's great, we have the, link, have the option to share a link, it's great. Uh, we go back to our Power Automate and we can see this start to run hopefully. Uh, we see it's all green, it's run, and we can expand this and we can see that we've got some details here. It's decided that it wants to load again. Um, so we'll just go back into it. So we can see that we've got some details here. So this is the file path that we put in. So you can see this is the non-user non friendly file path, the whole file path that we've got we can put in here because we can't select it through that picker. Um, this is the path we moved it to and we've chosen whether we're overwriting it or not. Just go back to my OneDrive for business. We can see that the hedgehog picture is no longer in here. If I go to my stop looping folder, you can find the little hedgehog is right there. That's very cute. And we can do a similar thing with renaming files as well. So we can do the same thing again. But instead of taking the file's name, we can do something like um, call it uh, squeaky mouse, as we did before, dot jpeg. Uh, and we can do the same thing again, so we'll test it. I'll upload a new picture to my OneDrive for business. Uh, we'll go back to Power Automate. Upload a file and we'll use the brown bear. Now we'll use the D hedgehog, the other hedgehog picture we got. So that's uploaded, that's great. We'll go back to OneDrive for business. Uh, sorry, our flow, uh, and we can see this running. Oh, failed. Oops, I made a mistake there. Oh, it doesn't look like it saved the details of the flow there. Uh, squeak, squeaky mouse 
I'll start in JPEG. Save. Okay, let's test that again. We'll just run it on that last one that we uploaded. Wonder why I did that. There we go. Run successfully. So I just just lost the uh, lost the file name there. So we've renamed it to Streaky Mouse. If we go to our folder, we can see Streaky Mouse is now here, and this is the other Hedgehog picture that we've got. So this is Hedgehog One. This is Hedgehog Two. Hedgehog One. Hedgehog Two. Um, so it's that easy. So we can upload things, we can rename things, we can move things. It's all really good. So you could move files to a different folder once they're processed by something uh, and rename them. You can maybe do them today's date or rename them to say, you know, if you're handling invoices and you're processing invoices and when you drop them into a certain folder, you want them to be archived and, you know, have a, a prefix of paid or a suffix of paid, you could do that. So there's loads of great functionality here, there's loads of great options for it, but as always, I want to know what you guys use these things for, so let me know in the comments down below what you're using this for at the moment. If you could like this video um, and, and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.